Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Practical Tutorials. So you're watching Mainframe COBOL Practicals. In this video, I gonna show you how do you write a COBOL program using conditions. This condition is very 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 important when you write a COBOL program either personally or in a real time. So, okay. So with this is the, this is this will happen using L88 level numbers. As you all know that we have different kinds of level numbers in COBOL that is 0, 01 to 49, 66, 77 and 88. Each level numbers have its own importance and uh, the main importance of 88 level number is, is mainly used for conditionals. Uh, if you want to check any status or if you want to do some kind of validations so with the help of 88 level numbers it that your job makes it easy. I go, I'm going to show you how it works and how do we how we are gonna use in a COBOL program okay and the one more thing is you know that ideal level number will not have a picture class right okay and uh, now I'll try to I'll try to connect to uh, a mainframe terminal okay okay I'm now trying to connect to the mainframe terminal so this is your COBOL program uh, and this you can see a COBOL comment section and followed by the identification division program id data division working storage section okay so now i'm trying to declare a variable name called marital status where i want to check it whether you are a married a single or it's a divorced okay so if you're married i'm setting a value to one if it's a single uh, it is two and if it is divorced it is three so based on this since you you can see like uh, you are expected to receive a multiple values to these declared variables that is either you can expect one expect two or expect three right so with this uh, i can uh, i can uh, here in this situation i can declare this 88 level demos right okay so here in procedure division in main para what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to set it actually what happens in in, uh, in real time is uh, so you'll be writing your COBOL program and uh, you'll be receiving one file and uh, from that file you'll be reading the some data and you have to check uh, check some conditions and everything and based on that kind based on the data read you have to set the values and you have to do some business logic okay so now uh, I, I'm not writing anything here just I'm trying to use this uh, different options over here like uh, I'm trying to display what is married what is value single and diverse so if I set WS married to true when I display this WS marital status variable what it will display is 1 when I set WS single to true then it will display a 2 when it's read divorced it will display the marital status value uh, as 3 so I'm going to show you and one more important point whenever you use radiant level number you should not use picture class C you can see this is declared for a group variable but you cannot see any picture class coded for this mark these 88 level numbers so now you are done with your COBOL program and now you need to compile your COBOL program right so I'm going to compile the COBOL program that is kind okay COND okay now you are done with your core program just submit it enter submit submit okay it ran good the compile good now I'm trying to run it okay so as usual just update your program name and point it to your so load library where your actual load module of this program has been present if it is not there it will happen so since you're not using any parameter you're not passing any parameters leave it as it is okay now just run it so what's the value it should display in the output so here I'm setting married to true right so it should display value as one so let's see if it is trying to display the same thing or not okay uh, yes it has displayed as the value as one okay see if I won't set any value okay if I won't set any value I'm not trying to set any value what actually it is storing so let's check it if it is storing any value in marital status or not so since I changed my 
program I need to compile it again and I need to run it again and when I compile it this load module gets updated it gets replaced with the new load module okay okay just submit it enter okay enter yes it ended with max is zero now you need to run it just run it okay it ran good that's good and go to spool okay if you go to spool you can see nothing is printed there is no data available for this so you can understand how importance it will play so in order to set these values right okay now since I have set this value to true so whenever I display marital status it is displaying so in the same way I'll display it right to single I'm thinking uh, I'm trying to set is uh, marital status is my my marital status is single so I'm setting it to true so that it should display it as two okay now since you have updated your cobalt program you need to again compile your cobalt program and generate a new load module okay and try to run it you have successfully compiled then you need to run it right okay just submit it it has to give it as what the value you should get it as 2 okay you should get it as 2 see you call it as 2 so that's how uh, this COBOL program works for the condition so I'm saying this is very very important just try to use different kinds of conditions and try to make it uh, your own logic for this 88 level numbers set the value to true and try to print print the values of the individual variables and try to dis try to display it and uh, just work it out so I hope you got this way you have uh, you got some idea about this conditional and what's the importance of 88 level number so if you like this video kindly please subscribe to my youtube channel I will, uh, I'll be posting more and more videos on different modules like GCL, VSAM, DB2 and CSCS uh, practical tutorials and also a theoretical so to click on subscribe button to get on day to day alerts uh, thank you so much and have a great and pleasure